The Bell System Technical Journal was a periodical publication by the American Telephone and Telegraph Company in New York devoted to the scientific and engineering aspects of electrical communication. It was published under this name from 1922 until 1983, when the breakup of the Bell system placed various parts of the system into separate companies. After the restructuring of the Bell Laboratories in 1984, the Bell System Technical Journal was renamed to AT&T Bell Laboratories Technical Journal. From 1985 to 1996 it was published under the title AT&T Technical Journal. In 1996, the journal was revamped under the name Bell Labs Technical Journal as the in-house scientific journal for scientists of Nokia Bell Labs, and is published yearly by the IEEE Society. Topic History The Bell System Technical Journal was published by AT&T in New York City through its Information Department, in behalf of Western Electric Company and the Associated Companies of the Bell System. The first issue was released in July 1922, under the editorship of R. W. King and an eight-member editorial board. From 1922 to 1951, the publication schedule was quarterly. It was bi-monthly until 1964, and finally produced ten monthly issues per year until the end of 1983, combining the four summer months into two issues in May and July. Publication of the journal under the name Bell System Technical Journal ended with volume 62 by the end of 1983, because of the divestiture of AT&T. Under new organization, publication continued as AT&T Bell Laboratories Technical Journal in 1984 with volume 63, maintaining the volume sequence numbers established since 1922. In 1985, Bell Laboratories was removed from the title to AT&T Technical Journal until 1995 volume 74. In 1996, the title was changed to Bell Labs Technical Journal, and publication management was transferred to Wiley Periodicals, Inc., establishing a new volume sequence volume 1. Notable papers In 1928, Clinton Joseph Davison published a paper on electron diffraction by nickel crystal, thus unambiguously establishing the wave nature of electron. This discovery led to a widespread acceptance of particle wave duality of matter and won him the 1937 Nobel Prize in Physics. Claude Shannon's paper a Mathematical Theory of Communication", which founded the field of information theory, was published as two-part article in July and October issue of 1948. Many landmark papers from the developers of Unix appeared in a themed issue in 1978. The journal is notorious for numerous articles disclosing the internal operation of the long-distance switching system used in direct distance dialing DDD in the Bell system in the 1950s and 1960s. Articles such as those by A. Weaver and N. A. Newell in band single frequency signaling, and by C. Breen and C. A. Dahlbaum signaling systems for control of telephone switching enabled phone freaks to develop the blue box apparatus, which mimicked the switching system's signals to allow them to make free long-distance calls. The 2009 Nobel Prize physicists Willard Boyle and George E. Smith described their new charge-coupled device in the journal in a 1970 paper. <laughs> <laughs> Editors Below is a list of some of the former editors of this journal. 1922 R.W. King 1954 J.D. Tebow 1957 May W.D. Bullock 1959 January H.S. Wren 1961 March G.E. Schindler Jr. Topic: <laughs> Bell Labs Technical Journal 
The Bell Labs Technical Journal is the in-house scientific journal for scientists of Nokia Bell Labs. It is currently published yearly by the IEEE Society on behalf of Nokia Bell Labs. The current managing editor is Charlie Barr. Topic: <laughs> Abstracting and Indexing. The following abstracting and indexing services cover the journal. According to the Journal Citation Reports, the journal has a 2015 impact factor of 1.2. Topic. See also TWX Magazine Bell Labs Record Scientific Journal